business seating plan. Ah, yes, you're over there, next to Nicholas Nelson, who's in year 11, so only one year older than you. One of the rugby boys, too, I think. I'm sure you'll get along swimmingly. Heartstopper Season 2, What to Expect and Predictions. Netflix's Heartstopper brought fans of the original graphic novel series to tears as they watched the story of Charlie Springs and Nick Nelson come to life on screen before it aired. This thrilling series was already renewed for two seasons, and in this video we will discuss some things about the second season of Heartstopper, so relax and let's get into it. Before going into the details of what is to come in the new season, let's quickly go over the last season. Heartstopper is an LGBTQ adolescent drama adapted by Alice Osman from the graphic novel series of the same name. It has captured the hearts of millions of viewers with its endearing plot about the romance of schoolboys Nick and Charlie. So are you being serious? Do you like Tara? What? No. She kissed someone. It wasn't a girl. Heartstopper gained a huge online following after debuting as a web comic on Tumblr and Tapas, garnering over 52.1 million viewers as of this writing. A limited print run was crowdfunded by Alice Osman, who achieved her funding target in less than two hours. It was first broadcast on April 22, 2022, and within two days of its debut, it has become one of the top 10 English language Netflix series. The two additional seasons of the show were renewed by Netflix in a matter of weeks. Heartstopper may not quite live up to the dramatic expectations of its name, but at least this lovable young romance is heartwarming. It follows 14-year-old Charlie Spring, the only openly gay student in his school at the beginning of Heartstopper, hooks up with the closeted Ben secretly while getting over a painful year of bullying after being forced to come out. He has poor self-esteem and even lower self-worth. He quickly develops feelings for Nick Nelson, his new homeroom seatmate and a famous heterosexual rugby player with whom he appears to have nothing in common. As Nick discovers he is bisexual, the couple considers dating within the problematic dynamics of high school hierarchies. What initially seems to be an unrequited crush quickly develops into friendship and romance, which is utterly beautiful. I'm so sorry, it was, it was a stupid thing to do and, and I don't want you to feel awkward about it because it was all my fault. Sorry, hang on. I shouldn't have kissed you. of animation pay homage to its graphic novel origin, especially during intense emotional moments. Cartoon lighting crackles between the hands as they almost come together. Hearts start to form in the air as Charlie's friend Ellie muses over whether she has feelings for their other friend Teo. With an art school twist, it appears to be Holly Oaks. Although there is some small drama among Charlie's pals, Charlie and Nick remain the main focus, except for the occasional parent cameo and Stephen Fry, whose voice may be heard as the head teacher speaking over the tannoy, the adults are essentially non-existent. Osman's scripts successfully convey the humor and sincerity that made her webcomic turned graphic novel series so well-liked and endearing. The first season of Heartstopper concludes with Nick and Charlie falling in love at the beach before Nick returns home to tell his mother. Fortunately, Alice Osman's graphic novel continues after those incidents, allowing readers to jump in and read the rest of the narrative. In the following chapters, readers will see Nick and Charlie's decision to tell their friends about their relationship and deal with some personal issues. Charlie and Nick travel to Paris together on a school trip with the rest of their pals, despite Nick's mother's insistence that Charlie couldn't join them on their journey to Menorca because she had already purchased the tickets. The viewership statistics for Heartstopper support the drama's rising popularity. The first week of the series saw over 14 million hours of viewing. The number of viewers increased by 65% in the second week to almost 24 million hours. The show continued to air for another week, albeit only with a 37% decrease in viewers. Heartstopper has also been included among the top 10 films in 67 nations, including the US, UK, Australia, and Canada. The show has climbed 
climbed as high as ninth on the US top 10 lists, but it has also placed second place in the UK and has done quite well there. The analytics from Digital One has confirmed that Heartstopper had an exceptional completion rate according to the British SVOD. According to the data, the success rate of the series is that 73% of those who began the show eventually crossed the finish line. You need to stop this thing with Nick Nelson. What? He's going on a date with this girl. I heard him agree to it after that rugby match the other week. If that can't be true. With a fantastic first season, Heartstopper leaves a trail of questions in its wake, and a major one among them is, will Heartstopper return for a second season? Well, after season one, Heartstopper sets up season two. Season one focused on novels volume one and two. Heartstopper has four volumes thus far, with the fifth and last volume scheduled for publication in 2023. With this thrilling end to a very successful first season, here is what you should expect from season two. First of all, the plot. Now that Charlie and Nick are dating, the duo is excitingly sharing this news with their loved ones. Season two will likely focus on their relationship's development. Hopefully, viewers will also see more of Tara and Darcy's romance. In other scenes, we'll undoubtedly see more of Teo and Ellie's will-they-won't-they they romance as they struggle with their affection for one another. Will they eventually admit their feelings for one another? Ideally, yes. A triple date. Yeah. Um. You and Tao, Tao and Darcy, and you and Charlie. However, while our three favorite couples may have lots of gay bliss and adorable young romance, there will undoubtedly also be some turmoil courtesy of both Ben Hope and Harry Green. Indeed, word of Charlie and Nick's connection will spread across the school, and while some students will be overjoyed, Ben and Harry will likely have something dreadful to say about it. And it's also possible that Nick's older brother David, who is homophobic and rejects his younger brother's sexuality, will appear in Heartstopper Season 2. Charlie's battle with eating disorders and other mental health issues is also evident. Next up, let's talk about casting. Who is returning, who isn't, and who is joining? Early in 2021, an open casting call was held to select the actors who would take on the roles of seven of the series' primary and reoccurring characters. It was revealed in April 2021 that Joe Locke, a newbie, star as Charlie Spring. Additionally, Kit Connor, who portrayed a young Elton John in Rocket Man, and provided Pantaleamon's voice in his dark materials was confirmed to play Nick Nelson. Several more young performers such as William Gayo as Teo, Yasmin Finney as Elle, and Kizzy Edgel as Darcy made their television debut with the series. Jenny Walzer and Karina Brown, who plays Tara and Tori Spring, respectively round out the cast. Sebastian Croft, who has appeared on well-known shows like Game of Thrones and Doom Patrol, will play Ben Hope. All of your favorite characters will return for more based on how the first season ended. Naturally, Joe Locke and Kit Connor, who play Charlie and Nick respectively, will return. In addition to Toby Donovan, Kizzy Edgel, and Karina Brown returning as Isaac Darcy and Tara, William Gayo and Yasmin Finney will reprise their roles as Teo and Elle, Sebastian Croft, Ben, Ray Norwood, Imogen, Cormac Hyde Corrin, Harry, and Jenny Walzer are other cast members who are most likely to return, Tori. Additionally expected to return are Chetna Pandia, Coach Singh, Fizeo Iknade, Mr. Aji, Joseph Balderama, Julio Spring, and Alan Turkington, Mr. Lang. Fans will undoubtedly hope that Nick's mother Sarah, played by Olivia Coleman, returns for another season. Season 2 of Heartstopper will also introduce four new characters. Jack Barton plays Nick's older brother, David Nelson. Bradley Riches plays James McEwen, a student at Truham High School. And Neiman Telejani plays Mr. Frauk, a teacher at Truman High School. Lalia Khan plays Sahar Zahid, a Higgs school student. Sahar will be Lalia Khan's first paid acting role after receiving an offer during a nationwide open casting call. In season one, Bradley Riches also portrayed an anonymous student, however, he has since been given a more significant role. Now, when will the second season of Heartstopper air? The first season of Heartstopper started filming in April 2021 and was finished in June 2021. Afterward, the show was released on Netflix 10 months later. If filming proceeds according to the timeline established when season Season 2 was approved in May 2022, viewers might see Charlie and Nick again in the first half of 2023. And while there is no official release date for Season 2, production on it started in September 2022, and we are thinking that it will happen.
happen around July 2023. However, we are keeping our fingers crossed for an official announcement from Netflix. What's next after the second season of Heartstopper? According to Heartstopper creator and executive producer Alice Osman, the entire story could take up to four seasons. The ideal season length to get Netflix to commit to was four. No goal cannot be realized if the popularity of the series has increased or if its viewership has remained consistent since season one. On May 20th, 2022, Netflix announced that the show had been extended for two additional seasons, so viewers would be feasting on this cute romance for a while. Even though we are positive that the show's creators did not have old cynics in mind when they created it, Heartstopper will soften any sharp edges and accentuate the beauty of the romance at its core if you take the time to watch it. The time spent in its presence has a calming effect overall. That will be all for today, and we hope to see you in our next video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and drop us a comment. Until next time, bye!